Here is a book by Stuart J. Murphy. This is a math start book focusing on the concept of area. And it is a level two math start book called Bigger, Better, Best. better, best. We can see we have two characters here and they're saying something. She sang, mine's the best. He says, no, mine is not, is too. Arguing. Jill shared a room with her older sister, Jenny. Their brother, Jeff, had a tiny room right across the hall. Every morning when she woke up, Jill could hear Jeff and Jenny arguing. My backpack can hold more books than yours, Jeff said. But mine's purple and yours is green. Purple's better, Jenny answered. Jill stuck her head under the pillow. Jeff is saying, mine has an airplane. Jenny's saying, mine has ducks. Ducks are better. Every night when she went to sleep, Jill could hear Jeff and Jenny arguing. My books got more pictures than yours, Jenny said. But mine's got more pages, Jeff answered. Jenny said, mine's in color. Jeff says, mine's in French. Jill put her fingers in her ears. My book's the best, she whispered to Fudge. Look, it's about a cat, just like you. One day, Mom and Dad announced that the family was going to move to a new house. The house was so big that Jill, Jenny, and Jeff could each have their own room. My room will be the best, said Jeff. No, mine will, said Jenny. Well, will Fudge get his own room too, asked Jill. Cats don't need their own room, said Mom. Everyone wanted to see the new house, so they piled into the car. Jill brought Fudge. When they got there, Jeff and Ginny ran right upstairs to see their rooms. Ha! Huh, I told you my room is better, Jenny said. Look how big my window is. I've got a window too, said Jeff, but mine is bigger. Stop arguing, you, you two, said Mom. Here, take this pad of paper and cover your windows. If it takes more sheets to cover one of the windows, then you'll know that one has the bigger area. The paper is like square units. Jill helped Jeff tape sheets of paper up one side of his window. It's three sheets high, Jeff announced. Then he made as many rows as he could across the window. 
I can make four rows, he said. That's 12 sheets of paper in all. See, mine's way bigger. Three times four is 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can count them or you can multiply. Three times four. They ran to Jenny's room. My window is two sheets high. I can only make two rows, Jenny announced. But it's really long. She covered the entire window with sheets of paper. I can fit six sheets across, she said. That would make 12 sheets of window in all. Exactly the same, said Jill. Can I have a piece of paper? She can go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So she would have 12 as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is a pretty small room, sis, said Jeff. I bet mine is bigger than yours. No, it's not, said Jenny. Yes, it is, said Jeff. Quiet down, said Dad. That paper is too small. Here, you can use this old newspaper to see which room has the larger area. We're using a bigger piece but it's still like a square unit. Jenny taped sheet after sheet of newspaper along one of her walls. My room is six, six sheets wide, she announced. Then Jill helped her tape sheets along the next wall. That's five sheets, said Jenny. So if I covered the whole floor with newspaper, that would be 30 sheets in all. Well, I know my room's bigger, said Jeff. He grabbed the rest of the newspaper and ran to his room. He taped sheets along one wall. It's six sheets wide, he shouted. Then Jeff put as many sheets as he could along the next wall. There were four sheets in all. It would take 24 sheets to cover the whole floor, he said. See, mine's bigger, said Jenny. Wait, said Jill. What about that little part in front of the closet? This little area here, he had it covered with newspaper. Jeff taped down more newspaper. There were two rows of three sheets each. That's 24 sheets plus six sheets. That makes it 30 sheets in all, Jeff said. Exactly the same again, said Jill. Hey, look at this ad. Well, my room's better than yours because it's closer to the bathroom, said Jenny. Ha, said Jeff. Mine's better because it's closer to the kitchen. You know what, said Jill. I think I have the best room in the house.
Jeff and Jenny looked at her in surprise. But your room is the smallest, Jenny pointed out. And you've just got one little window, Jeff added. I know, said Jill, but my room is the farthest away from the two of you. And it's the closest to fudge. The end.